guys so today's video is just a really quick video and I'm sorry for wriggling around but I don't like all the mess going on in the background that's my husband's fault blame him so um yeah so yesterday I was in the supermarket and I came across something I came across let me just put it back to show you what it looked like I came across this now I was attracted to it because it's gold and black and I love gold and black. Anything gold and black, I'm there, I'm into it. And I just thought that's really pretty and I've been meaning to buy new brushes for ages. I don't know about anybody else, but do you get to the point where you're brushing your hair and then you look down at your brush and you're like, whoa, this needs replacing, this looks pretty bad. So anyway, that's the, sta the stage I was at with my brushes and I'd been meaning to buy a new one for a while. So I was in the supermarket, not planning on getting a brush, I didn't really think they sold them in there, I hadn't really paid attention, but anyway. And then I saw this, um, I liked the black and gold and that's the only reason I was going to get the brush because I thought that would look really nice on display on my like beauty table, my vanity table. So as I went to pick it up, as I say, I just was going to buy it for the colour, um, I saw the price and it was like eight ninety nine or something. And I thought that's a bit steep just for a, a brush, like a normal generic brush. Like I've had brushes like this before and they're usually under five pounds. So I was a bit confused. Um, and then I read it. This was the packaging. And I started reading it. I was like, okay, Andrew Barton. Um, and I know Andrew Barton. Andrew Barton is like, I don't know him personally, but um, Andrew Barton is like a celebrity hairstylist. Um, and then he's brought out a range of professional hair products. So like, you know, John Frieda, Nikki Clark, um, Charles Worthington, that kind of thing. So anyway, so I read that and I thought, oh, okay, that's why it's a little bit more expensive. And then it said Moroccan argan oil. And that is what had me because anything with argan oil in, I always buy it. I'm obsessed with argan oil. It's so nourishing. It's just so special. It's such a special ingredient. So it said that, but then I was confused because I thought, it's a brush like what where's the argan oil it's a brush so I decided to read it properly so I read the back so I'll read you what it says because I thought it was a bit strange but anyway there were three different brushes to choose from I like the cushion brushes it's just my favorite type of brush so that's why I chose this one but this is what it says Andrew Barton miracle shine want great hair but no time to spare my miracle collection delivers hair miracles with every brush Guaranteed to give you gorgeous hair without hours of styling. My range gives you no-nonsense styling tools that really work. Your guardian angel for miraculous hair. So that's what it says, but that's it said that on all three brushes. Now this particular brush, this said something different. Each brush has a different um, ingredient or whatever. So anyway, this brush says, My Miracle Shine Cushion Brush harnesses the powerful properties of argan oil to give you gorgeous super shiny hair rich in vitamin e and omega fatty acids this miracle hair care ingredient revitalizes and repairs the hair follicles improving strength and elasticity the brush pins this is where it's weird are infused with pure argan oil so these i've got hair in it and i'm sorry that's gross i hate strand strand strands of hair like random hairs anyway um, yeah, so these brush pins apparently are infused with pure argan oil, enabling a light and even distribution of treatment throughout your hair for long-lasting mirror shine. Perfect for mid to long hair. Anyway, basically, if you weren't listening <laughs> to what I was saying, um, there's argan oil apparently in the tip. These little gold tips, apparently, oh, it's gross. I shouldn't have brushed, well, I needed to brush my hair so then I could do the review, but... I should have took the hair back out, it's stuck in it. Anyway, so the tip of the brush basically has argan oil in it. I was really confused because how does how is that possible? I don't understand. If someone could explain it to me, that would be great. I didn't get how a brush has argan oil inside the tips. That's the first thing. The second thing is if it does have argan oil in the tips, surely that's going to run out quite quick. Like I'm sure I'm going to brush my hair once or twice and then surely the argan oil is going to be run out no I don't know I don't really understand so anyway I bought it anyway like I say I really bought it just for the color but I thought hmm it's got argan oil let's try it now I've used it 
I don't see a difference. I love the idea. I love the idea, but it doesn't mean anything to me. I don't, I'm using it and I don't see a difference, basically. Um, I don't understand how it works. I, I don't get it. Um, I don't know what else I can say. I used it, I didn't see a difference. I used it on my daughter's hair. Um, I'd washed it and then when it dries, it dries quite dull until I put product in it and then it goes really shiny. So I thought I'd brush her hair with it to see if I noticed any difference in the shine. I didn't notice any difference. Like I say, I like the idea, but I'm, as I'm using it, I'm like, is this just a gimmick? Am I being fooled by some random like gimmicky product? I've never heard of this before. Maybe other brands do it as well, but I thought it was really interesting. But again, I'm still confused as to how a hairbrush has argan oil in the brush. You know, say I had this brush for six months. Are you telling me that in six months time, it's still going to be distributing argan oil into my hair? I don't understand how there's enough. Do you know what I mean? Like, how is there enough argan oil in the tips to go into my hair every time I brush it? I don't understand. So, I don't know. I can't smell any any argan oil or any like product on it. If I like rub my fingers on it, nothing comes off. I'm just a bit confused. But if you want to give it a go, it's not overly expensive. It's like eight, nine pounds. You can give it a go. But yeah, I probably won't buy another one. I like it because it looks pretty. If it does have argan oil in it, that's great. But I'm not so sure. I haven't noticed a huge difference. So I just thought I'd mention it just in case any of you guys have seen this about and you're wondering about it. Um, so yeah, there it is. I'm kind of like, it's not really a hit or a miss, it's like a maybe. Um, so yeah, that's my take on the brush. So anyway, I hope you guys have a lovely day. I've got some really exciting videos coming up this week. I've ordered some luxury lashes and also a really expensive luxury facial product that contains real gold in it. So I will be doing those reviews this week as well. So keep an eye out for them. And please like and subscribe, leave any comments below, and I hope you'll have a great day. Take care. Bye.